गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन एस्पेशली द मेजर फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन सच एस द नेचर ऑफ पेरेंट रॉक एंड क्लाइमेटिक फैक्टर्स and also some of the other factors such as topography role of organic material and also time taken for the composition of soil formation see all this uh, we learnt in the previous class and now in this class i would like to explain about soil profile soil profile so there is a the beautiful picture so page number 11 of your geography textbook so please you see there the picture of the figure of 2.3 that soil formation how the show see there are the major four parts of this soil profile there are major the four so the first and at last so which we used to call as the if you are going to think like this this way see they don't think sir whether you from the southern part of india no it is about uh, to show the the profile of the soil and the soil profile okay so the first thing it is in the level so this form so this we used to call as parent rock this is what and rock this portion and afterwards the maximum for in this so this portion parent rock and the next the maximum one up to maybe here so this spot this air we can observe that weathered rock material weathered rock material getting the students so this is a parent rock and so this portion this is a weathered rock material then the after unless see this is the smaller portion understood now so in this color so this actually sub soil with sand silt and clay this portion we used to call as a sub soil we used to call as a sub soil with silt sand and clay with silt sand and clay so this portion and you may almost got the idea so which part is the top soil 
uh, with including the humus and vegetation so of course dear students so this portion so there is no doubt so this portion it is actually then we can see see this is the so this part is actually this one the top soil top soil so here only we can so what is there the main with the humus and vegetation with humus and vegetation so please look here dear students this we used to call as a soil profile so there are major four parts the upper layer is there no so this we used to call as a top soil with humus and vegetation and the second is there no the second layer so this is about actually this is used to call as a sub soil with silt sand and clay this used to call as a sub soil and this is the maximum is there no? in this profile so this actually so weathered rock materials so this maximum part is there no this is what no this is actually weathered rock material and at last that is parent rock so this is soil profile so this picture already i told it has given in your geography textbook page number 11 you can observe that so how beautifully it was drawn see if suppose ask about soil profile so you have to draw and you have to label with this all okay so please keep in your mind this is a parent rock and this is a weathered rock material and this portion is a subsoil so with sand silt and clay and the upper layer or which we call as the top level so this is a top soil with the humus and vegetation so this is about a brief description about the soil profile i hope dear students so you are able to understand about this soil profile now let us discuss about degradation of soil and conservation so degradation of soil and conservation so degradation of soil and conservation see we know that due to different reasons the quality of the soil the fertility of the soil so that is going to be decrease so there were so many reasons for the degradation of soils now let us discuss about so some of the measures to control this degradation of soil so we know that the main threats to soil degradation such as soil erosion and depletion soil erosion and depletion 
See, the soil erosion and depletion are the major threats to soil as a resource. So here, yeah, both human and natural factors can lead to degradation of soils. So even there are natural factors also and even so there are human factors also which are leads or which are lead to degradation of a soil. So there are human and natural factors. Getting the students. So the <coughs> degradation of land it is uh, actually because of the different factors such as so then we can observe that human factors and natural factors. So both were the main reason for degradation of soil. So this is especially erosion and depletion. Now let us see that some of the factors which lead to soil degradation. So what are those the different human and natural factors such or, or what is the reason for degradation of the soil. So such as the first most important one factor deforestation getting now deforestation and we all of you know that that is about over grazing so this is one of the another most important factor which is a reason for degradation of the soil over grazing and over use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides over use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides so chemical pesticides and also dear students rain wash okay rain wash also and landslides landslides and even the floods see please keep it in your mind so these are the some of the major reasons for degradation of soil so especially there are human and natural factors such as deforestation, overgrazing and overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticides and rain wash, landslides and floods. So it is including all human and as well as natural factors. See dear students. The deforestation, it is one of the most important reason for degradation of soil. So, uh, to fulfill our requires, we are continuously clearing the forest. So, that causes the degradation of soil. And the overgrazing. So, of course, we are rearing a lot of different kinds of animals. So, to feed them, so we used to clear the green cover of the surface of our heart. So because of this overgrazing, 
the soil lost its fertility and there we can see the degradation of land also this is the another one main the factor and nowadays we all of you knows that to get more yield to grow the different crops to avoid the some of the which are harmful to the crops see for that we are using in the name of modern technology and even that also dear students so we are actually completely forget the traditional method and the organic system of agriculture and we are practicing especially after the green revolution in our country so there we can see a lot of changes in agricultural field we are using the different the hyv seeds to get high yield and even so we are using the different kinds of the chemical fertilizers which are completely harmful to the soil and also we are using some of, to control some of the creatures and which are actually destroying the different crops the different kinds of the pesticides also so the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides also so the main reason for the the degradation of soil and also dear students rain water if there is a heavy rain continuous rain so again so the land is going to be degraded and also the landslides and the floods also so these are all affect on the quality of the soil understood and these are completely major threats to soil as a resource hi hope dear students you all of you understood about the different factors so which are the major threats to the soil as a resources now let us discuss about some of the methods of soil conservation how to conserve soil so there are some methods so by adopting those the different methods so we can conserve the soil now let us discuss about these some of the methods of soil conservation so methods of soil conservation so there are so many methods of soil conservation so let us know one by one so the first one that is about so the practice of mulch so what is the meaning of this mulch so it means the bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter like straw see this helps to retain soil moisture so this is one of the method so the bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter like straw and it helps to retain soil moisture and the next one counter barrier counter so counter barriers see uh, 
by using some of the things for example by using stones or by using even the grass and by using soil so using all these to build barriers along counters so by using i mean such as stones grass soil are used to build barriers along counters and trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect the water so this is the another one method to conserve the the quality of the soil and even not only the quality even to save the soil and the next one rock dam this is the another method for conserving soil rock dam see rocks are piled up to slow down the flow of water so in this what we have to do now so it is actually rocks are we knows that so piled up to slow down the flow of water and this prevents gullies and further soil loss so in this way also we can so avoid the soil loss and we can conserve the soil by using this system or method also and the next one terrace farming terrace farming see it is actually broad flat steps what we call the terraces are made on the steep slopes especially so that flat surfaces are available to grow crops and these flat steps or terraces are so that reduce the surface run off and soil erosion getting us so especially so this terrace farming it is the most suitable in the hilly areas so where has we can see or observe the hills and all in the hilly hilly areas so in that hilly areas so this is one of the best method to conserve the soil by practicing terrace farming and the another step that is about intercropping inter cropping see here intercropping means instead of growing only one crops in a the proper i mean the whatever they are growing in the same way here actually growing the different kind of crops that do in alternate rows in alternate rows and are sown at a different times also so by sown at a different times and even so or uh, with the alternate rows is suppose if you are plant one seeds in this way and again so you are going to show another the different crops at a different time not in the same time so in a different time so in this way like this and somewhere like this so like this in a different way or in a different rows at a different time if you are going to sow uh, the different seeds and to get the crops so it's completely protect the soil from especially rain wants so this is one of the best method to conserve the soil from the rain wash so that is about the practice of the practice of intercropping now 
the another one method that is counter coins counter coin see here flowing parallel to the counters of a especially hill slope to form a natural barrier to form a natural barrier for water to flow down the slope understood now especially this counter flowing it is practiced in hill stations especially a hill slope to form a natural barrier for water to flow down the slope so in this way we can avoid the soil errors and after that the last one shelter beds so especially this method can use in the coastal and dry regions so rows of trees are planted to check the wind movement to protect soil cover especially in the coastal areas and dry regions so the rows of trees especially the trees which are growing so high which are growing so high so those trees are planted to check the especially wind movement to protect soil cover so in this way in the coastal and dry regions so we can protect the soil from the wind movement this is one of the best method especially for coastal and dry regions so dear students so these are the some of the methods of soil conservation so such as mulching counter counter barriers rock dam terrace farming and intercropping and counter flowing and such and shelter banks okay now the next class we are going to discuss about water thank you have a nice day